Hi, this is the wrestling doctor Hal Lee with Pro Wrestling Extra. I'm here with Tim Zabisco. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. And I'd like to ask him a few questions. Tim, mm -hmm. you're uh, you're kind of new to the business. Mm -hmm. You've been in the business approximately three months. Three months active wrestling. Right, I started training, training last right. September. Yeah, let's talk about where you're training. You're training at uh, Team Vision Dojo. Uh huh. In Orlando, Florida. It's at uh, 6923 Narcuzzi Road. At it's uh, Narcuzzi and Lee Vista, but we run shows out of there first Saturday of every month. Next one is July 7th, and uh, it's a great place to train. You get very hands-on service. Uh, you know, the training is top-notch. The school teacher, Chasen, has been there for about, in the business for like 13 years, 13, 14 years or something like that. Yeah, so it's Chasen It's very good, yeah. And we have, uh, you know, besides myself, we have uh, Scott Hall's kid, Cody Hall is down there. Uh, Santana trains there. I mean, both very talented people, you know, so... It's a it's a great place to be. It's a good school. It's in the Orlando area. Um, it's a great place. You should check it out. And it's like, I believe in wrestling.com and in Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's really. Let me tell you, uh, I read your Facebook page. Let me tell you, that is the greatest Facebook page I think I've ever seen. To get to know you, to mm, understand yeah. you, to to feel what you went through. Uh, you know, everybody thinks just because you are the son of a great professional wrestler that it's going to be so easy for you, but it wasn't. No, it's um, the Facebook page is the way it is because I want to, I want people to know who I am and why I'm doing what I do. And, you know, a lot of people will just give me friendly flack for being like, oh, your dad's in the business. And it's kind of a joke and with the guys. It's funny. But um, with my dad, it's he's very supportive, but he wants me to go out there and do it myself and be like, you, know, you have to be good at it. You have to want it. You have to work at it because... My name's only going to get you anywhere it gets you, but you have to, you know, you know, uh, deliver when you get there. And so, that it's become almost fun. If anybody challenges me just based on my name alone, it's great to show them my athleticism and my skills on the microphone. And I have a, I have a blast doing it. I love it. We yeah. had a really good match tonight. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, it was just tip of the iceberg, though. Hopefully, next uh, next show, we'll see what goes on there too. Tonight's match was good. I I've had good opponents. Uh, worth eleven matches so far. And people joke because they think if you still know your number, you haven't worked any, like, because they're like, oh, I've done a thousand, I have no idea how many I've worked, you know? <laughs> like, oh, I love it. So, uh, there's people that have told me, you remember when you worked so-and-so? And I go, no. Yeah, and you're like, <laughs> what, what city? Memphis. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was in Memphis in 1975. I read in your bio yes. that you really were someone that enjoyed track. Track yeah. was important. I was a track star, you could say, in high school. It, it helped me through some trouble sometimes because I was a terrible student. But um, I was uh, I was really good at track, really good at running, um, did distance, sprints, mid distance, and it, it kept me level headed. And athleticism and you know and the coaching staff were great. It was great to have those influences. My dad being on the road so much, it was great to have positive male influences besides the mother who worked very hard to make sure I you know grew up right. Right. I know at one point you know you said that you you didn't get to see your dad for 15 years. Yeah, he was on the road a lot. You know, he did wrestling and. Now doing it, I understand more of why. I mean, it's it's you're on the road. You have to live a certain lifestyle. And the business has changed. It's not on the road so much anymore, unless you're with a couple companies. But it's a, uh, it's you know, it's 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 understandable why he was on the road. But he took care. I mean, he was you know, he sent money, he sent cards. My mom and him, you know, they don't talk too much. So it was always kind of like you know, I'll see him. I see him. I used to watch him on Nitro. So I go to school the next day. And people were like, oh, okay, so what's gonna happen in Starcade? And I'm like, oh, I, don't know, I can't tell you. You know, it was funny. Uh, on your Facebook page, it was uh, part of a book you wrote. How did the book? The come book is about? a fictional story I wrote. It's just a sci-fi story. I've studied philosophy, religion, um, uh, political science, uh, mythology for a long, long time. You know, and I wanted to write a book that touched on all these subjects, but also had great story and action and drama and suspense. And it led to the book because I've always just had a lot of creative energy, so it's just come out like in a in a fountain those past few years, you could say. Yeah, I tell you what, I was impressed. You Thanks. Know, you do, I do a little bit of writing myself. I've, oh, yeah? if I've written, I've got uh, about five books started. Oh, yeah. And cool. I have three of them for my 10-year-old daughter. She's killing me saying, write another book. I wrote one. She wants me to write another book, Daddy. And I'm yeah. going, let me keep making the money off the first one right now, and yeah. then I'll do the rest. Yeah. That's yeah I was stuff. very impressed with your writing style. Thank you. Yeah, yeah when the book's done, I'll send you a copy. It's, um, yeah, it'd be great. I you hope know, it gets published. That'd be cool. I'd start my own wrestling company. There you go. <laughs> it's not just your writing style. That I was impressed with your wrestling style out there. Thank You're talking you. about somebody that has been to, through training in three months in the business. Let me tell you, 
Yeah, yeah. I think you've got it. I think. Thank you, uh, Thank you very much. I think once you develop, once you get your style, mm -hmm. and, and once you master it, you you you've got it. Yeah, it's. Um, I'm still feeling a lot of things out, getting used to everything in the ring. I mean, guys, you have to respect them. They've been there for 10, 15 years, five years. They've wrestled hundreds of matches all over the place, and and you have to. You have to learn to work with it. You have to learn quick either. They're not going to wait for you. So that's you know that's the big thing that you sure you know that the business isn't going to wait around for somebody to get good. Right? Is the business turned out to be what you thought it would be? Yeah, yeah. It was what I was prepared for. Is what I knew it was going to be. The goal is to you know make it to the major companies and travel the world and let people see what you can do. You know, and but I know how it is starting out. I know what it is training. I know how you got to pay dues and carry rings around and do you know. When you're training, you got to do announcing for shows. Just whatever you can do to help the business, because in certain areas it needs help. But you've got genuine people that want to put on good shows and good product and draw good crowds because they love it. And so, you know, you want to get to that stage. I think this was one nice show tonight. It was Probably the best show. one I've seen all Very year. Very professional. I agree. I've the, of the all the shows I've worked, this was by far the best production, the best. Atmosphere is very cool. You know, it's very nice. A lot of people. And I've worked a lot of good shows. I've worked for promoters in Jacksonville, um, like Mr. B, uh, Jason Rance in Orlando, Frank Goodman in Orlando. Um, I don't know if I forget anybody in my brain. <laughs> you know, but uh, you know, Frank did a great job. Frank Hell, and you know, I've met a lot of good people in this business and people that love the sport. And they, you know, it's, it's nice to be around and work for them. Right. Well, Tim, thank you for doing this interview with me. You know, I appreciate it. Doctor. And, um, you know, I'd like to do another interview with you one time. Yeah, we'll sit down and in the just, future when we figure out where I'm at. More. Yeah, yeah, yeah we need to see stages. Yeah, uh, thanks a lot. Really, you're welcome. Sir. Uh, this is the.